Kumite Radio is brought to you by Supplement Warfare. Visit their website, supplementwarfare.com.au for the best quality supplements on the planet. Use coupon code Kumute Radio at checkout to get 10% off of all orders. If you're trying to get sexy for the summer, if you're just trying to flex on fools, visit supplementwarfare.com.au for the best supplements in the world. Use coupon code Kumute Radio at checkout to get 10% off and support the podcast. Joining me right now is Alex Georgies. He will be fighting at Hex Fight Series 14 versus Jai Bradney on June 30th in Melbourne. What's going on, Alex? How you doing, man? Going on, man. How are you, bro? Good, good. Let's talk about your your career so far, man. You're undefeated. You're 5-0, all finishes. What do you have to say about the incredible start to your career? Um, I mean, the start to my career, you know, it, it says a lot about me because um, I'm still young, you know, in my career, and um, I'm I'm five and zero. But all that has started from the Mokhtari brothers, obviously, you know. So I'm I'm blessed because I've got probably the best trainers in the world, and they've set me on the right path at a young age, you know. So I'm still learning, I'm still you know experiencing, you know, a lot of a lot of things in my um career. So you know, it's pretty cool. So yeah, I don't yeah I don't really think about it too much. I mean, five and zero, oh, you know, next fight's always you know exciting. So yeah. Late last year, you went to the Ultimate Fighter twenty seven tryouts. You didn't make the show, but there must have been some positives that you took away from that trip. Can you talk about some some of the experiences? Yeah, man. So like as you know, I went over with uh, Suman and me and Suman. Uh, Went there and we actually um, were there for the whole week. So on the first day that we were there, we had to um, we had to do trials there and um, we had to um, grapple and you know hit some pads and stuff. So in my grappling match with um, one of the guys that I was with, um, I actually submitted the guy um, in the grappling match and they were like really impressed and stuff. Um, so it was pretty cool, you know. And then um, they put me through. And yeah, so the, they put me through to the striking, and then from the striking, we went on to media and so on, so on, so on. And then I done really well in all that. And then they told me they told me to stay towards the end and done some medicals, and it was pretty cool, you know. And then um, it's pretty cool that you know now I'm in their system. Um, they got me to sign a bunch of like UFC forms, and you know got me to do a lot of blood work, and so you know it's pretty cool. They're still talking to me now, and um, you know I'm in talks with them, but can't really say much now. So, you know. I heard that uh, they asked you a pretty interesting question during the interview section, where they asked you if you would fight Suman on the show. Is that true? That's true, man. Yeah, definitely. Like they asked me and Suman um, if we'd fight, and then uh, me and Suman. You know, basically went back and spoke to each other and we're like, look, if we fight, there's a few things we have to do, you know, like we we can't we can't let it hit the floor, but we'll keep it standing <laughs> and, and we'll punch on, you know, but like it's normal for me and Suman because you know, we're we're used to punching on every single Saturday. If you come down to our gym, you'll see a war every single Saturday, me and him punching each other's head and you know, but that's about it. I, I was happy to fight I was happy to fight. I'll fight him, but I'll fight anyone, you know. So that's what that's what the fight game's about, you know. I know Suman, Suman knows how bad I really want the opportunity to be on the show, and you know I want, I know how bad Suman wants to be on the show. I wanted to be on the show back then, and yeah, we we came to an agreement where if we had to fight, you know, for the fans to be on the show, we got to do what we got to do. So you are only 22 years old, and in your next fight at Hex 14, you're gonna face a guy that has been around the Australian MMA scene for years. He's a former champion of multiple promotions. What does this challenge mean to you? Hey, you know, look, how I say it is, you know, I'm still a baby. Um, I'm still a kid. I'm, I'm still 22 years of age. I'm 5-0, and 0, you know. I've, I've, I've got a long way to go. I'm still learning, you know, as a fighter, you know. Um, and it's, it's very important to learn, you know, 
for me. So um, it's, it's a big test for me. You know, I'm taking on Jai Bradney, who's very experienced, you know. He's had um, 32 pro fights off the top of my head, um, you know, and, and he's a veteran. But, you know, like, I promise you when that cable closes, you know, I'm going to look like the veteran in there. The world's only seen, you know, just a, a quarter of me. Imagine me when I'm at my 32 fight, you know, what I'll be doing. We've seen everything that Jai's done, you know. I've seen everything that Jai's done. My coaches know, you know, my... My, my coaches respect him, you know. But at the end of the day, when that cage door closes, it's my time. Bradney, he's been finished in the first round in the last three fights. Do you plan on continuing this trend? If it, if it comes in front of me, if I see the opportunity and I smell blood, I'll take it, you know. Don't get me wrong, but yeah. But if he wants to get picked apart, I'll pick him apart and I'll make it beautiful, you know. I'll paint a picture for you. <laughs> This training camp, have you been working with Darwin Sagret? Because actually he was the last one to fight Bradney. Yeah, I've, I've been working um, a lot a lot with uh, Darwin. I've been training every day with him. You know, it's good that he keeps me on my toes. Um, and man, like, I know the power Darwin has. If anyone gets hit by Darwin, it's, it's an ugly night for you, you know? So, um, but yeah, like, I, I don't really change anything different from my um, fight camps. I do everything the same, you know. I train with my trainer, Suman, every day. I, I, I partner up with um, Ash Khan a lot, you know. So they teach me a lot and they've always kept me on my toes. So I don't think I should change anything or anything different to, you know, if I was fighting um, if I was fighting the world's best, you know, I wouldn't change anything different because the way they train me, you know, they really look after me. So, yeah. What attributes do you possess, you believe, will give major problems to Bradney? Ah, this one's a pretty funny one. You know, um, if you've ever watched me fight, um, my biggest attributes in my fighting are shaking my ass. You know, like, I'm known to shake my ass. <laughs> but, um, no, definitely movement. Like, I see, I don't see, like, wherever the fight goes, I don't see where Bradney can, you know, try hitting me or I think I'm just going to stay untouched. I'm going to keep moving. And, you know, if he looks to take me down, you're going to get submitted. If you look to keep standing, I'm going to pick you apart, you know. So, yeah, I'm, I'm too diverse for this, you know. Like, for this fight game, you know, I'm too well-rounded. You, you take me anywhere and I'm telling you, I'll pick you apart. A win over Bradney. Where does that put you in the lightweight division for the promotion? Whoever's next, you know, I'm managed by one-out fighter management. You know, best management company in the world. And I let them take care of it. You know, whoever they think is right, I'll let them take care of it. So, little little with them, you know, they, they're speaking, you know, to some high people right now, you know, and some big organizations for me. And, you know, I'm just going to sit back and, like I said, you know, keep keep playing, keep waiting, keep waiting until to see what's next. But, like, definitely June 30th, you know, I'm very focused on Jai. And I only plan my next fight ahead, you know. So if my next fight ahead, you know, turns out well, you know, we'll go on from there and so on, so on, so on. One more question before I let you go. In a recent post, I saw that, you know, you posted a picture of you and your father praying together before a fight. How big yeah. of a part did your father play in your fight career? I mean... I mean, before before every fight, you know, me and my father, we, we share a great moment, you know, that not much people know or see, you know, behind the fighting scene. I'd, I'd pray with my dad before every single fight uh, for my safety and um, sometimes my opponent's safety, you know. So um, this one's going to be, like, a very important fight for me because it's my father's birthday, actually, the night I fight, you know, and it's the first time my father's not going to be there. Um when I when I fight and you know to pray with him and stuff, but it's it's a it's a tough time for me, but it it's another thing I'm gonna learn, you know, like it's what makes me a fighter, you know. I'm, I really want it, and I'm gonna show you guys how bad I want it on June 30. I I believe I believe on June 30, my, my father will be in there with me and he'll be guiding me, so no one can stop me then. So definitely. Do you believe that Jai Bradney is? the opponent that's going to turn your career? Oh, to a better direction? Um, I think whoever whoever my coaches put in front of me, 
you know. I think they're setting me on a path, you know, the right path. I mean, my coach, Ashkan, you know, he started at the age of 25, you know, with no path, with no no goals, no no nothing, you know. And then um, Suman put his head down, like, real, real hard, set goals out for him, and I believe he can do the same for me. I'm still at a young age, so, you know, the, the world is, you know, massive for me, so definitely. I mean, my coaches believe in me a lot, so whoever they put it in front of me, they know I can finish. All right. Hex yeah, 5 man. Series 14. Let the Hitman is going to face Jai Bradney Let on June 30th. Can I ask, can I ask you a question? Yeah, Let me yeah. ask you a question. Yeah, yeah. What got you into podcasting? I was a journalist first. Oh, really? Yeah, I was doing, you know, features. I was writing articles covering oh, MMA nice. in Asia, you know, and then... Oh, what, made you, what made you get into MMA podcasting from journalists? Did you come across something or...? I felt like there was nobody really doing it over here on this side of the oh, world. Okay. On the app, definitely, yeah, definitely. Well, it's, good to, started... you know, it's good to see, it's good to see, you know, someone's always trying to put their foot out and, you know, trying to make the game bigger and really helping out with the MMA community, you know? And it's, it's stuff like... Stuff like this that doesn't get enough rec recognition, and which I believe should, you know. But yeah, I just I just want to say on my behalf, thank you very much for this interview, and you know, I hope this this show does become one of the biggest things one day, definitely. Me too, man. I'm Thanks for the kind man. words. <laughs> What's up? I'm a big fan. Like I've been watching your podcast since, oof, man, it's been a while. Like since Suman's first first podcast, I've been watching ever since, man. So. Definitely, man. Keep it up and I'll keep watching. And thank you very much for this opportunity. Hopefully, you know, we get me on again and after my win and, you know, we can speak. You could catch the Hitman on June 30th at Hex Fight Series 14 in Melbourne. He's taking on an Australian MMA. I guess you could call him a legend. You know, definitely a veteran. And this could be his coming out party. Thanks, Alex, for your time. And good luck. Thank man. you, bro. Thank you very much, brother.